Please, I move four million three hundred fifty-eight thousand four hundred sixteen dollars. Any second? Steve, second. Uh, Brian, we'll let Brian second that. Motion made by Tim. Good evening to you, sir. Both sirs. Great to see you again. Yes, nice to see you again as well tonight. Short rest for some of us that were doing a wonderful meeting down at the state park. Yep, that was a very good meeting. Yeah, very, very good meeting. I'll say that with any sarcasm. I met that. They did a nice job. Which you can see mm -hmm. so. Yeah, they do a, they want to do a wonderful job. Chief, if you'd follow the same format as the fire chief, go through your entire budget, and then after you've finished, then we'll ask questions, okay? <coughs> That way, Mr. Chairman, what I'm going to highlight is the significant change. I'm going to start with the increase total budget, which you'll see is 6.29 mm -hmm. increase from last year. The majority of that is going to be uh, contractual obligations, primarily wages. As you may recall, uh, the town entered into a collective bargaining agreement with the Hampton Police Association. They call for 3% raises over three consecutive years. We're now in the second year of that contract. So that would account for a vast majority of what you see of that 6.29% increase. Going through the different uh, areas of the budget, uh, one of the things we tried to accomplish this year, we've been talking about it, um, about cons consolidating some lines. If you remember last year, we took the gasoline lines, we had three gasoline lines throughout the budget for patrol, uh, detectives, administration. Really didn't serve a, uh, any legitimate purpose. Um, the run rates don't vary that much. The prices may, but the run rates don't. So we made the determination to consolidate that line for expediency. There's, there was really no reason to have three lines for that. Uh, I tried that again this year uh, with the vehicle maintenance. With the fleet that we have, I didn't really feel that it mattered whether it was a marked unit or an unmarked unit in admin or detectives, maintenance is maintenance. When the cars break down, we have to fix them, so we just consolidated those lines. So you'll see vehicle maintenance under crime control is uh, zeroed out. You'll see vehicle maintenance under uh, administration uh, significantly increased. It's simply the consolidation. It's, we took the three line items, put them into one, put them into one place. Just felt that that was a cleaner look and uh, didn't, I don't believe it diminishes the transparency of the budget. That's kind of what I, I felt I was getting from uh, budget committees in the past, and we didn't need these things everywhere. Uh, every year I look at the budget, and I'm, I'm looking at it right now. There's some areas that I'll probably in the future look to consolidate. I just want to be sure that we're ready for that consolidation. So when you look at administration, uh, you have a 13.45 increase. We did some work on the OT wages. That is due to overtime for administration personnel, uh, summer prosecutor's office support records, uh, some computer development repair reflects pay for officers assigned to develop and repair the computer system. It was based on six hours uh, per week of average overtime rate. We maintain most of our system with folks inside the building and they are in variable, various places within the department. So instead of paying overtime out of those varying uh, areas of the department, we just want to consolidate the money that we're spending on that area because it's becoming a very big concern, not only in the department, but in the town. IT is a big topic and you know we want to try to get as accurate as we can with what we're spending in that area, um, primarily for the future. So those are the two biggest increases that you see in administration. You do see some uh, reductions, uh, rentals and leases. We knocked that down significantly um, due to some consolidation and movement around uh, of the money into other accounts. 93% up on the computer supplies and expenses. We're trying to be more accurate uh, based on what we're spending out of those lines. Um, that is really it in those areas. As far as, did you want to go section by section or with the entire budget? Do the entire budget, please. Okay. Traffic control and patrol is only up. Uh, wait, wait, wait. 
crime control and investigations. I'm sorry. I think you skipped it. <laughs> crime control and investigations, 1.44%. We did a, a little bit of a look at uh, a couple of items like our OT wages, just looking at what we were spending and try to be a little more accurate. So we, uh, we did cut that slightly. <coughs> um, it says 22.9%. It's, it's really a dollar number that's not that significant. 30% up in career incentives. Those are contractual obligations. It shows up 30%, but it's really not a big numerical number. And that really accounts for, uh, in the minus 100 is the rentals and leases, uniform allowance, and new equipment, which was a consolidation. All those are consolidation issues. Good. So, traffic control and patrol. Traffic control and patrol is up 1.8. Biggest areas of change, you'll see a 28% increase in sick leave. I was just looking at uh, what we're spending in that area, and it, it does fluctuate quite a bit as the, the usage goes. You know, we have a, a flu bug that hits the building like the schools, and everybody's out, and that could drop significantly this year. It all depends on the run rate. So I just tried to adjust that to reflect somewhere in the ballpark of what we used over the last couple of years. Um, vacation coverage up 70.7%, same issue. Holiday pay is a contractual issue. Career, career incentives, 15.9. Career incentives are those uh, issues when somebody gets a degree. <coughs> there's a stipend that's paid, and that's what that reflects. Minus 41% uh, for personal days. Again, just looking at the run rates as to how people use their time. Uh, some people just didn't use them. They don't use them, they lose them, but that happens from time to time. Consultants, uh, we consolidated, so that was minus 100%. That was only $250. Vehicle maintenance, again, we, we merged. <coughs> Replacement equipment, uh, just looking at what we were spending. Uh, and we do get some opportunities for donations from other entities, so we're utilizing that a lot. So we're down 29% in that. Vehicle replacement, uh, minus 34%. Training and recruitment, we zeroed that out. We consolidated uh, that line. Oh, pardon me, we left that even. And that's all for traffic. Uh, control right. and again that's 1.8 percent increase right. training training uh, is a significant bump and that's due to consolidation things we're going to do in training we're trying to just again taking some of the line like the detectives training we, we that's really specialized so we left that in there but the administrative training and the patrol training and the stuff we do with the special officers we're trying to keep that more into one uh, one area. Services. Support service is up 10.35%. Biggest areas you're going to see are your training wages. You keep in mind with the contract increases, that also increases the wages for those areas. Uh, and we've added some training. We're also you know, dealing with more continuous level of training simply because of the turnover rate we experience with our special officers that many of these folks are coming in with less life experience fewer people in the military it does cause us to have to do more training with them court wages uh, just a reflection a little bit uh, more in line with what we're spending uniform pay that's a contractual obligation Vacation coverage you'll see is up 48.9. That's just a reflection of what we're seeing <coughs> over a time period. Radio maintenance, Tim's favorite product. Worksheet on that, so. 
One of the big things we've added is our portable radios. Uh, we are still carrying some of the first generation digital radios that can no longer be maintained. So as those die out on us, we can't get them replaced or repaired with the same radio. So we want to institute a program of buying six new portable radios at a cost of $3,000 each, each year, similar to what we do with the cruisers. When we buy the cruisers, we also buy a new computer. About three years, they start becoming obsolete. We start having failures with them. So we buy a new computer when we buy the new car. We want to get into a program of buying six new radios just so we can stay ahead uh, with the radio so we're not buying these the last second and having to wait on them. We have them in our inventory as the old ones start to fail. PD uniform allowance is 12.5. That's contractual. Uh, supplies and expenses, you'll see mine's 100%. We consolidated in there. Training and recruitment is 75.84. Part of the items we want to start this year is we are planning on trying to start a Citizens Academy and an Explorer Post. We look at those items as potentially a way to try to enhance our recruitment efforts. Uh, I'd like to see more local people coming into, into our department. I think that bodes well for the community, but how do we do that? Um, I think the Citizens Academy would be just bringing the ordinary taxpayer to come in and get an understanding of what your police department does and give them a little taste of the day in the life of what we do. The Explorer Post is the uh, young adults, um, kind of similar, we've had some discussions with the ROTC program at Winnicott, trying to marry up them with them a little bit because we think that's kind of the same demographic we may draw on. Young adults that are interested in maybe a public safety career and trying to uh, help each other out in that area. And uh, the Colonel's been very open to those discussions, as has the high school. So. That's the uh, increase you're seeing in the training recruitment. So that accounts for the 10.35 increase, increase in support services. Police station and building, 23.4% increase. And the building maintenance is probably that biggest area. I've added, uh, I believe it's $20,000 to that account. Uh, simply put, every year for the last, since I've been chief, we experience some failure of a key component of the facility, uh, be it HVAC, airflow handlers, gates, lights. The building's 12 years old. We're in a, in a saltwater environment, and we have been experiencing uh, those failures. You know, we'll, we'll get a bill for 12 to 15,000, 30,000, depending on what it is. So I'd rather have money set aside for that, a contingency for that, as opposed to hoping that we have money left over because it was a wet and cold summer and we didn't spend a lot of money. And I'd just rather have a, a plan to have those things dealt with when they become obsolete. I can't give you a projection of when that's going to happen. I just know since I've become chief, it seems that every component is starting to fail. It's 12 years old and that's what you start seeing when those failures start happening. So, And that is our budget proposal at 6.39. Okay. I want to 